Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you all the brand new tonic craft kit for this month. This one is called Bureau Bloom Box. So it's going to be a beautiful 3D box project in here. Before I get stuck in and show you what's in here, just a bit of housekeeping. Um, the links are always going to be in the description box of my video to where you can get hold of your kits. Um, and then when you go over to Tonic Studios, you get a breakdown of your prices and how the subscription works. You don't have to get a subscription you can just buy one off kits as well so let's get into this box so in all the tonic craft kit boxes you get your Nuvo products uh, which are going to be in a beautiful bag like this you're also going to get um, a folder which has your dies and your stamps and then you also get um, like a folio type folder which has all your papers and cards and then I can also see this month I've got a stamp cleaning cloth in my kit as well so let's move the box out of the way and we'll start with the papers first so the papers come beautifully in this little folio where you can store all your scraps as well and straight off on the top I can see bright white classic card so I've got this is the classic card from Tonic Studios which is like a slight weave texture I don't know if you can pick it up um, so you've got two sheets of those then I have this patterned paper and this is double sided beautiful pinks then this one is a mirror card I'll try and put all the names of the um, cards and papers into the description box this beautiful glitter card which is a shed free i really love tonic studios glitter card then this is like a pearlized card in a white then this is a textured card you can see the texture there is white on the reverse and like um almost like an ivory gold kind of a shade on the front some more classic card here in this two shades of pink which is really nice and then I've got another classic card in green and there's I think there's yeah one sheet of that so here are all the papers and cards and you can see the colors are very very spring like beautiful for I presume some floral elements that are going to be in the dies I'm going to obviously share that with you so I'm just going to fan this out and put it here so you can see the colours of the cards and papers okay so on to my Nouveau products and oh my goodness there's a lot of full size products here so first of all I've got this beautiful um, sweet pink double satin ribbon I love tonic studios ribbon that they've recently come out with I think because the double side is satin as well your bows are gonna look perfect every time and this one is three millimeter width and this is beautiful pink color then I have here let's grab my scissors this looks like a glimmer paste um, and this one is in the color nephrite nebula i hope i pronounced that right um and this is beautiful um green with speckles of gold okay so that's that and then another full size product this one is a glitter drop and this is in the color enchanting pink and the speckles of the glitter within this is like pink with pink really really nice shade of pink that is as well then I've got some markers here and these are double ended markers I've got a delicate rose there's a bullet nib and a chisel nib on the other end so this is 449 delicate rose then I have this one which is pea pod 412 and then this one is pink taffy 452 and then here is a double ended glue pen and this is a full size product and this is PVA glue so those are my Nouveau products then on to I'll actually show you this before I go on to my dies and um, this is a stamp cleaning cloth and I have had these before it's damp and you can rinse it and then they do dry out and you can rinse it and put it back in its bag and it'll stay damp perfect for cleaning your stamps you get a full size item of that 
and then on to my dies. So here I have presumably the dies that create the box. It is called Bureau Bloom Box. So you create a box. These are some layers and then I've got some stamps here. So let's go through the dies first. So you can see straight away um, all these decorative layers that fit on top of the box. It's going to be a really nice size box. I can see by the panel size this looks like a side panel and then obviously i'm going to create one with you so you'll get an idea of how that looks so these are the dies that create the main box and then you've got all these decorative elements and then here you've got more layers that fit on top of these sections here and then you've got some sentiments and um, this says kiss love xoxo and hugs and um, some decorative pieces here and then the stamp i love the stamps that come with these kits i think they're just so so amazing so you've got like a tag shape um some more panel that you can stamp on if you didn't want to use the decorative dies you could always stamp and color with the colors that are in the kit and then this says thanks enjoy hugs for you always and love and then a few little um leaf embellishments there so you've got the option to cut and use your papers as well as stamp and colour with the colours that are in the kit. So I'm going to cut into some of my papers and cards and create a couple of boxes with you. Okay, so to create your Bureau Bloom box, you're going to need to cut out four sides. And I've used my classic white card for this. And this is the die. Just grab it so you're going to cut this out four times, then you're going to take this die and then cut this out twice. Now, you can cut it out just with your um, paper, or you can inlay the Verso dies like I've done here, and then this creates a really, really beautiful um, design within your lid, which is going to be the opening mechanism. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is score all my um, edges. And then I'm going to stick them together. I have actually already cut out some more layers for the top. As you can see here, some layers for the side using that really pretty uh, patterned paper. And then I've also got a sentiment layered here, which says hugs. And I'm going to be using my um, beautiful ribbon for my closure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now.
so that finishes that one really really adorable and you can see how i left the um side panels where you can see through the box would be perfect for whatever gift you want to give whether it's chocolates sweets even if it's for a crafty friend if it's embellishments or craft flowers that would be perfect and then another one that i've done this time i've taken the actual layered dies which i want to show you here so i've laid them up and cut them out like this and this is the one i've created with that so it's got that beautiful mirror card i've added some pearls and um, the layers i'm gonna open it up in a sec i'll show you so and there's the side at the bottom i've added some pearls for feet so it looks a bit more fancy compared to this one and this one looks really ornate with the details but this one has all these extra panels and i'm just gonna open it up and show you so on the inside i've covered the uh, sides with the same design all the way around and this one is all one colour on the inside and then um, for this closure I've actually used um, a ribbon from my stash this is actually a craft perfect white satin ribbon and I just thought it'd match the uh, decorative panels on the sides a bit more with the white ribbon and the pearls are obviously from my stash as well everything else is from the kit so that is one thing I like to do is when I have my kits I like to use what's in the kits themselves and create my projects so these are my two beautiful boxes i really hope you enjoyed this video check out the links below there's so much i haven't used from the kit there's the stamps there's the um nouveau drops the glimmer paste so you can really go to town and use whatever you like on your projects so that is it from me for today thank you so much for stopping by and i will see you all very soon take care bye